Well, good morning, meteorologist Jesse Kelly here. Here's a look at your forecast for your Thursday. Welcome to lots of clouds. Light rain falling across the northern half of the architects right now. Just look at a little bit of light rain. If you see a few stronger thunderstorms on the southern edge of the region, but all thunderstorms are not moving out of the architects. In March, we're seeing temperature of 54 degrees. Those winds are light out of the northeast at 5 miles an hour. You see some light rain is falling from um, Shreveport just towards the south of Texarkana as these showers move through. I think this will be the end of the rain, at least temporarily, although we could see more rain later on this morning. So you can get, again, you can see those uh, light showers again falling across northeast Texas, also beginning to move its way into the Interstate 20 corridor. Again, we'll see this continue to move towards the south over the next hour or so. But many of us this morning are into the middle to upper 50s, a pretty mild start to the day. I'm expecting the highs for many of us to warm up into the 70s and 60s. So, again, we're looking at rain showers moving through right now. Our next disturbance is currently over Utah. That will begin to move into our area later on tonight, into the day on your Friday. And once that passes us, we are done for the rain, at least for the next couple of days, which is some good news there. But as we head towards your Friday, there's a small chance we could see another stronger two thunderstorms out there for Friday. With the main concern being probably some hail and some gusty winds. So, Robin, so the future guys shows all the rain moving out of here as we head towards the latter parts of this morning. And future guys are still showing we may see a few breaks in the overcast as we head towards Thursday afternoon. But keep in mind, those clouds are going to return yet again by Thursday evening with more rain beginning to develop out towards the west. And we'll see rain moving back into the region Thursday evening. And we're going to see rain off and on Thursday night, off and on Friday morning. So, you will be sleeping pretty good if you like sleeping to rain. You're going to hear that off and on throughout the night. Same story for your Friday. I know we have lots of festivities and lots of activities ongoing with the Bayou Classic for Friday. You will need your rain gear. Don't forget it because we will see rain off and on throughout the day. But by Friday evening, I think the rain should come to an end. We'll maybe still see a few showers and a few thunderstorms across the Toledo Bend area. Other than that, we'll just see lots of clouds. We'll see those winds back out of the north. For Saturday for the game, lots of clouds. We'll see a very breezy north wind. We'll see temperatures out there into the lower to middle 60s. So rainfall amounts between now and Saturday. Future counts are showing we could see an additional one to two inches of rain, depending on where those thunderstorms set up between now and Saturday. But again, once we get past Saturday, the forecast is looking very nice, at least giving us a nice break from the rain. Here's a look at the forecast for you Saturday for the Bayou Classic. We'll see a pregame temperature into the middle to upper 50s. Kickoff temperature around 61 degrees on the way home. We'll see those temperatures into the middle of 60s, so it's going to be a pretty nice afternoon for some football, although we'll be on the breezy side thanks to a northwest wind. Next seven days shows rain showers increasing again tonight and today on your Friday, drying out for the weekend. Sunshine will return for Monday and Tuesday. Highs for most part of the middle 70s, lows into the 40s and 50s. We will see another cold front arrive for Tuesday and Wednesday, which will just reinforce the dry air. So actually the Climate Prediction Center shows over the next uh, six to 10 days below normal temperatures, so let's enjoy that while we have it because we already know that eventually we will see those warmer temperatures turn back into the region. So enjoy the cooler temperatures that we do have for the next seven days. And again, we will see rain move out, moving out of here as we head towards the weekend.